Hey homeschool friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be going through da, 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 the good and the beautiful typing program. I have typing one, I have typing two, and typing three, which are all the typing programs that the good and the beautiful offer. So my plan is to walk you through them, kind of explain a little bit about what the program is about, why I was interested in it, and then do a flip through so you can see inside of all three of these programs. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you're new here or welcome back if you have been coming for a while. So like I said, I'm going to be showing you inside the Good and the Beautiful's typing programs one through three. So honestly, this is my son's most anticipated, most excited for curriculum for next year. He has been wanting to learn to type for a while. I'm not sure if he just really wants to be on the computer because we don't really allow them on the computer too much. And so that might be it, but he is so jazzed to learn how to type. And I'm actually also excited for him to have another outlet to get some of the ideas and thoughts out of his brain onto paper, so to speak. So we are both excited for this program. The other things that drew me to the program were the fact that it is very beautiful and colorful. I mean, it is called the good and the beautiful. I don't use too many of their products, but I do like their readers and I do think their products are very beautiful. And that is no different in this typing program. It is a very beautiful program and it is nature inspired. So the pictures and the art in here are just outstanding and I just love it. And it's also got lots of poems and quotes and things like that. And I know we could have gotten like a free online typing program. I know that. These are not that expensive. They're like $13.99 or something like that. And I just like the idea that these weren't on line like on the internet it's just something they can pull up the word processor start typing it doesn't at all feel like a video game it's not super stimulating it's just teaching them how to type so that was what i wanted i wanted something super simple that they could do and also i love that we can use these three programs for all four of my kids like it's not really consumable there's some stickers and i'll show you that but otherwise it's not consumable i mean they just open it up and type on the computer so it's not consumable in that sense so i think that was all i had to say about the program so let's flip around and I will show you what it looks like inside, which is what all of you clicked on this video for. So let's do that. Okay guys, here is the program. I love it. I think it's so pretty. So I will just take you through it. I'll take you through each one individually. So we'll start with typing one. So a few things about typing one, it is intended for seven to 12 year olds. Any kids who have really little to no prior typing experience should start in typing one. And the good and the beautiful really recommends starting around like seven to nine years old. There are 80 lessons and there are four timed lessons in here so you can kind of see how fast your students are typing. And there is also no religious content in this first one, which I had a couple of you ask me that during my unboxing video and I looked through it. Typing one's the only one that does not include scripture verses or things like that. It is just poetry and inspirational quotes. And so this first one is not religious for those of you who are looking for that. So, okay, I'm gonna open it for you. So like I said, there is actually stickers that the kids can use here when they complete their lessons. And I'll show you where to put it. Again, I don't feel like this is a good enough reason to buy the whole program again. I'll probably just use some different stickers for my subsequent children, but that is just fine. So typing one. Okay, so I feel like this is probably one of the most important pages. It talks a bit about the course. And so this talks about the fact that it's 80 lessons, ages seven to 12, short lessons, things I've already covered. Items needed, you need the course book and the sticker sheet. You need a computer or a laptop with basic word processing abilities. So you're talking like Word or Pages or Google Docs so that they can type in something. And then you need a document holder, like an easel that can you can prop this up on. I am not sure what I'm gonna use for that yet, but I feel like I could find something. And then this talks about how the course works, like how it is intended to be used. And it says the, the students should complete one to two or more lessons a day and two to five days a week. And the lessons should take about five to 15 minutes. And so I feel like you could, if you did it every day, you would fly through this course. If you did it a couple times a week, you could probably make it last for the year. And that's my tentative plan at this point. 
And then moving on to here, it's a full size picture of the keyboard and it can explain to the kids where the important things are like shift keys, space bars. And in this first typing curriculum, it only includes some basic stuff. It's not gonna get into the, some of the more complicated punctuation marks during typing one, but it'll get to those kind of during typing two and during typing three. So moving on, it talks quite a bit about posture and hand position. So that's really good to go through with your kids. And then there's a before you start. This is showing where your hands should sit. So that's a good lesson. And then it gets into lesson one. And so you can see this is lesson one right here. And this is where the sticker would go once you complete this page. And in that case, you're completing two lessons because this is talking about hand position. And so to give you an example of what lesson one looks like, it just says place your hands like you were just taught and then type the letters below, including the spaces. It says, always bring your fingers back to home row position and press enter or return with your right pinky to start a new line. So that that's it. So then they practice this and it looks like lesson two is very much the same. So that is an example of the beginning of the program. So here, let's say lesson 15, 16, and 17. So this is what, a quarter of the way through or something like that. And here it's having you practice some words, practice some words, practice some words. And in this case, it's adding some semicolons in here. So you can see some are words and some are not. It's like a more gibberish, but it's them practicing finding where the keys are on the computer. So let me go to one of these first timed lessons. You can just see how pretty it is. Sorry, I just wanna point that out. I just think it's lovely to look at, which I mean, that's just a bonus for a typing curriculum, right? So here, I don't think this is the first time lesson, but this is one of them, where you're going to time and measure your progress. And there are places to mark that here in the back where you have your different measurements on how long it took you the first time and the second time. So the kids will type this out as is and you'll time it. It's that simple. And I'm sure you'll start to see progress as you go on. And so you can see here you're typing different countries. Reminder of where the keys are here. Keep going. And so you have just little excerpts from different books and things like that. And I love a lot of these. So there's some encouraging quotes. So this isn't something they're gonna type, but it's just in their book. Like always use words that build instead of tear down. I mean, that's just beautiful. And that's good encouragement as they are working with words here. So I just, I just love that. And so I wanted to show you guys that. And so here, this is where it ends for lesson 80, is to type these two sentences, and that is it. That is typing one. And I know I didn't show you every page, but I feel like you could get a pretty good handle on the fact that they are working on where all the letters are found, plus things like the space bar and the shift keys. So there's not too much extra here. Um, so it's really focusing on, more on the letters here. And so let me get into typing two and show you how it progresses. So in typing two, again, you have your sticker sheets and your about course, and it pretty much does the same thing as before. And then it talks about position and then getting into the lessons. And you can see it already has type the following review sentences. So these are sentences that are somewhat review, especially if they went through typing one, which is the expectation of typing two that the students have already done typing one in order to start this. And then the place for the sticker. And here it says to type the following sentences using correct fingers to press the comma key. So now they're working on commas in this example. And so in this one, in lesson seven, they are working on copying it, some poems. And you can see that then that's a lot of using the shift key to start sentences. And in, I don't think it's not indenting yet, but I'll get to that in just a second, I'm pretty sure. So you can see here on lesson 10, here's an example of the, where they're using more scripture. So again, the good and the beautiful typing two and three have more scripture examples, but one does not. So, but oh my gosh, it's just so pretty, you guys. It's just so pretty. And so to go through here, here's another measuring the progress. And you can start to see that they're increasing in length of passage as well as some added punctuation in here. And when I was looking at it, I think it even talks in this level about like changing the font size and using parentheses and quotes and things like that. So it definitely keeps going from here. 
And oh, I like this one where they're typing numbers in order using commas. And this lesson, typing two, I don't think it has quite 80 lessons. Nope, it doesn't, it has 69 lessons. But you can see this has gotten quite a bit more complex within the sentences where you have like commas and quotations and question marks at the end. So this is great. I feel like they are definitely progressing at a reasonable rate. So this is through typing two. And now to show you typing three. So let me line it up. All right, so type three starts with your stickers. And this talks about completing a lesson. You should complete at least one lesson a day, but you may do as many lessons as you want. Then it says, but feel free to stop in the middle. We're gonna start. And then this is the first lesson going into typing three. And you can see it's fully using quotation marks and extra things here. So it definitely is a review from last time, months of the year. And you can see that this has significantly increased in the amount. So if I show you a little bit back from like lesson 12 in typing one, this is what this looked like. And this is lesson nine in typing three. So it definitely has increased in the amount of typing. And here you can see it starts to work on parentheses. It's showing the kids where the parentheses are and how to start making them. And some more specialized symbols like the dollar sign here. And here on this page, it's doing the plus, minus, and equal signs so they can use this for more number work and math work. And lesson 50, it looks like, yep, they're working on caps lock. Okay, and so it just goes from there. And again, guys, so pretty. Sorry, I keep saying that. I just really do like it. I feel like it really improves the quality of what's going on. And so that is it, that's lesson 61. So typing one had 80 lessons, typing two had 69, and typing three has 61 lessons. So I feel like they're just a little bit longer, but you can kind of do the math on like how long that'll take you. You can literally do one lesson a day and it takes you 60 days, or you can do a couple lessons a week. You can kind of figure out what you want to do, probably based on the level of your kid and how old they are and things like that. So, so yeah, these are the typing programs from the good and the beautiful, and I am excited to use them with all of my kids. My son is particularly excited for next year. So let me know down below if you guys have any questions on this program, or if you want to hear more of my thoughts about it, I would love to hear from you guys down below. Otherwise, if you like these kinds of videos, flip throughs where you get to see inside more of the curriculum, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next homeschool video. All right, guys, take care.